And I am Melissa Mahadeo. Thank you for joining us. We're going to get to all that news in just a moment, but today we have a special treat as we are joined by Greg Dean. News about the royal wedding causing a lot of excitement this week. Just a little bit. I don't know. Did you even hear about it? Both of us <laughs> said no love at first sight, lust at first sight. Let us know. Tweet us your opinion. We return now to our story from the top of the hour as the search is on for the driver who hit a Dade City police officer and then just drove away. Our Isabel Rosales is live near State Street in Dade City. Isabel, I know you just found out more about the officer, so can you tell us how he's doing? Take a look right now at this cell phone video out of West Palm Beach. A commuter train hit a car that was sitting on the train tracks there. Witnesses pulled the driver out of said car just seconds before that train hit it. Amazingly, there are no reports of any injuries here. The train was only moving about eight miles an hour at impact. Now at this point, it is still not clear why that car had stopped to begin with. I'm so guilty. I've uh -huh. tracked it and so I'm tracking it saying it's going to be delivered and then I hear the knock at my door. I'm like, wow, <laughs> Dude, that's timing. 817 now and you have to see this video spotlighting an alarming criminal trend. Crooks stealing cars and they do not even need a key. You need to watch as two men are about to steal a car in under a minute here. Take a good look at this video. Police in England say it is the first known video of thieves using relay boxes. The device allows them to pick up your car's key signal even from inside your home. Now to protect your car, officers recommend you get a steering wheel lock or put a tracking device in your car. That steering wheel lock reminds me of my dad. He had one in the 80s. I think he drove <laughs> A uh, really old Thunderbird. Can you believe that? <laughs> she has a cool dad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I think he thinks he's cool. And apparently it says a lot about his personality. Researchers now saying that the type of car you drive might even reveal if you are a Democrat or a Republican. Yeah, stay with us here. Well, if there are more sedans than pickup trucks, there's an 88% chance the neighborhood votes Democrat. If you flip it, there's an 82% chance they will vote Republican. If you're like us, the first thing you might do when you find expired food in your fridge is naturally throw it away. Or open the package, smell it, and then decide. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but something you might not have realized is that the date on the packaging doesn't tell us anything about a food's safety, only how fresh it is. A recent report from the Natural Resources Defense Council says more than 90% of people have thrown out food based on the sell-by date, and a lot of it was probably still safe to eat. Now's the time for you to give your thoughts on some changes coming to a major road in St. Pete. The city has a survey on proposed changes to MLK Street North. Next year, the city will resurface the street from 5th Avenue North to 34th Avenue North. People and businesses in the surrounding areas are being asked to fill out that survey. It's available on the city's website through December 8th. Other proposed changes include better crosswalks and bike lanes. To a great story now. One veteran and his family got the gift of a lifetime today. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane was there for us, and she is introducing us to this very special military family. When you call those three numbers, you expect help, and you expect that help fast. But across the country, some of those critical call operator jobs are empty. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck has the new plan to fill those life-saving roles. Welcome back to Good Morning Tampa Bay. I'm Melissa Mahadeo. Time now is 8.30 and here is what we are watching for you. The search is on for a driver who hit a Dade City police officer. 13-year veteran officer Kevin Burns was part of a drug investigation near Lock and 14th Street. A driver hit him and then sped away. The suspect was driving a gray 2018 Nissan that had been stolen from a Hertz rental agency in Tampa. Another deputy who fired at the fleeing driver is now on administrative leave. To a tragic accident out of Riverview Carnival, originally aimed to honor a former deputy. A driver hit and killed Christopher Sigliano, the director of that memorial event. Authorities say he stepped onto the road to direct traffic when a pickup hit him, sending him into the opposite lanes of the roadway, where another car then hit him. So far, there is no word on if either driver will face charges here. 